How do you feel? This is crazy. This is insane. <laughs> This morning we're exploring some of the back streets, uh, some amazing architecture, beautiful design stuff, and uh, we just found this cool little hidden coffee shop. Check this out. Okay. And the wine is fruity and the wine is not fruity. This is the most darkest. It's bamboo beans. Okay, thank you for your Yeah, no problem. Oh, I want to make it. Take your time. So Jonathan, here we are. Here we are. Where are we? Uh, we're at a thing called Team Lab. Um, it's like a big visual light museum thing. I actually watched this on a documentary um, like a month before coming here. Found out it was in Tokyo and I was like, I need to go and see this. So it's a big interactive projection, visual kind of thing. I don't really know. I'm going to find out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We've entered into the chill room. It's like we're in a black cloud, I guess. Yeah. Crazy. We're now in Odaiba coming to get some food for the last night and we heard there's a robot here so being Rivers and Robots we kind of have to go see here she is robot receptionist <laughs> yeah. that's so weird yeah this display is kind of crazy it's like a holographic thing and basically you just point in the air and it seems to work Okay, thanks lady. 
All right, so that was our last day in Tokyo. Uh, we are now back home. I'm just sat here editing this video and trying to get over the jet lag. And um, I wanted to give a little roundup of the whole trip. Uh, so over the course of the last three weeks, we've seen at least 600 people responding to the gospel, which is amazing. We were able to do concerts with Rivers and Robots, running our first ever set sail workshops in Singapore, which was the first time we've really gathered all the creators and artists together and shared in person about our journey and also what it looks like when faith and art comes together. And, and we're also able to come alongside and encourage the church in Japan, both the older people and the younger people, and just cheer them on and serve them wherever we could. And also reach out to the people of Japan through things like the open mic night and the radio show. Also thanks to you guys getting involved in our fundraiser while we were over there, we were able to raise £750 for POC Ministries, the guys who run the children's home and work in the prisons and the communities there, which is an amazing blessing to those guys over Christmas. So thank you so much to everyone who gave to that. Thank you to everyone that came to all the concerts. Thank you to everyone who is supporting us and cheering us on and praying for us and all of you guys for following the journey on the vlogs as well and uh, leaving your comments and supporting us. We're just so encouraged by everything that happened over these three weeks and there's even way more things and more opportunities opened up than we were expecting. So to finish up this trip, we wanted to end with another Inspire video. Um, for those of you who don't know, we have a series here on the Set Sail channel called Inspire. Uh, they're kind of shorter, more kind of artistic, creative videos, a little break from the vlogs and they're just aimed at being short films that communicate a simple message. So we filmed one in New York City, which is based on um, the passage about be anxious for nothing, and it was called Peace. We filmed another one in Tokyo last year, which was based on the passage in Romans about how will they hear unless somebody is sent. And the third one is gonna be coming out on the channel tomorrow night, and it's called Poetry. And this is actually one of the main reasons we went to the Team Lab uh, exhibition is because I wanted to film a video here. And one of the things that struck me about walking around that place was just what it feels like to experience beauty and creativity on that level where you're seeing things, you're hearing things, you're feeling things. So many of the senses are involved in that place. It just reminded me again about the power of creativity and of art to communicate things and to make people feel things. And it got me thinking about this scene in the film Dead Poets Society. And uh, Robin Williams gets his students around and he starts to give them this little pep talk about um, why they should be writing and creating and and he says we read and write poetry because we are members of the human race and the human race is filled with passion and he ends with this really good challenge as well where he says the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse what will your verse be and I wanted to put that out as a challenge again to artists and creators of like we can all contribute something to the world and to society and as artists we have this potential to bring beauty into the world and bring the beauty of the things that we create into this place that we live and into people's lives and I wanted people to think about that question at the end what will your verse be what will be the thing that you create that contributes to this whole world and to the place that we're living in so that video is going to be going up 8 p.m. Friday UK time uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching all these videos if you've missed any they're all in one playlist so there's episodes 1 to 10 of the Asia trip from Singapore to the Philippines to Japan it's been a really amazing trip and a really amazing journey and we've loved getting to share it with you guys so thank you for watching and we'll be back soon with another video set sail video blog set sail video blog it's a video it's a blog as well set sail